Hi there, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be looking at this um, limited edition super granulating glacier set by Schmika Hordem. Um, I've the, the in the tube is there's five tubes in the set and they were five mils each. Now I'm based in the UK. If you don't already know that if you're new to the channel, I'm based in the UK, and these cost roughly thirty three pound for the set, which to me seems very expensive for five watercolors. Um, but anyway, they they're a limited edition, and I really wanted to try them because I've seen other YouTubers look at them. So there's the the colors there are is blue glacier which is PB29 and PG50. Then we've got Turquoise Glacier, um, which is PG50 and PV16. We've got Green Glacier, which is PR233 and PG50. Then we've got a Brown Glacier, oh, sorry, Glacier Brown, which is PBR6 and PG26. And then the final one is... New, sorry, Noir Glacier, and that's PBK11 and PB35. Um, I will apologise if you can hear some snoring through this video. I've um got a house guest, it's my brother's dog, <laughs> and uh, Sil, bless him, his name is, uh, uh, he snores and he's in the room while I'm trying to record this voiceover, so I apologise straight away. If you like hearing snoring and you're interested in this type of content, then please like and subscribe because I've got lots of videos that um, you can have a look through and stuff. And I'll, I'm gonna be trying to upload more videos over time. So it's just showing you there. And that, that like box then is really small. <laughs> it was quite underwhelming when I opened the box. So my plan here is to actually, um, I'm gonna, I'm thinking about getting the other sets, but I might just get one a month. And then I'm gonna fill this palette up with, each of the the sets of these uh, limited edition super granulating. So we're gonna do we're gonna do side by side swatches. Then I'm gonna do um oh actually I do this one first. So I put some clear water down, drop the pigments in, and just see how see how they spread. And then I do side by side swatches um just to go in my uh in my palette. And then I'm gonna try doing this mixing. I don't usually do mixing charts on on camera or really in general because i find them super complicated and i always mess them up i mean if you've never seen any of my videos I'm, i do mess them up quite a bit um and i'll talk you through that when i do it so the first thing i'm going to do is put down the uh glacier blue sorry it's pb29 pg50 it doesn't quite move that much, which I'm um not surprised with because they're super granulating. They they might be quite the I well I'm assuming this is I don't know this but I'm assuming because they're super granulating the pigments are quite heavy so I don't necessarily expect them to move, um but I was quite shocked especially that uh, turquoise glacier I was quite shocked at how that didn't seem to move at all. Um, so the, the brown glacier, that one actually really, really did. And the black, no, no, sorry, noir black, that one moved quite well as well. So we'll let these dry. I see I go in and put some more pigment in because I, I was quite shocked at the uh, the lack of vibrancy almost. But I mean, when I go to swatch them, um, these are slightly different. I mean, it could be, this is not an exact science. This is just you know, me doing my process. Um, so just watching the Glacier Blue PB29 PG50, now the Turquoise Glacier PG50 PV16. Now we're going for the Green Glacier, and that's PR233 and PG50. Uh, Glacier Brown PBR6 and PG29. And Noir Glacier PBK11 and PB35. So it's watching them, they're quite nice. Um, and you can see the granulation straight away. I do really like the Green Glacier. It's actually, that's actually one of my favourites. I think that's one of my favourites. And I think that might even make my ideal palette but, um, thing in my head that I'm making up in my head. <laughs> that will probably never come to fruition. So I'm just going in now and I'm just um, swatching doing the central um, diagonal column, which will, in theory, <laughs> I don't mess this up, so that's that's one good thing, but in theory will just be the uh, 
glacier blue and glacier blue uh, turquoise. So that'd just be the, the, the standard swatch. Um, so just going in and doing that first, just to just to have a have a little look see and see how so that will be like the baseline and then um when we add the other mixes to it that that they'll be the deviation from the baseline. So um I like I said before, I don't tend to do these types of mixing swatches because I find them very complicated. <laughs> So the first, the first one I've done there is the Glacier Blue with the Turquoise Glacier. And now I've gone in on the bottom and along the bottom column, I wanted to add in more of the turquoise. And so the top one will be, um, the top one should be on this one should be the Glacier, more of the Glacier Blue. And then the, so that along the horizontal line, we should be more of the, of the pig of the original pigment and then going down um it should be more of the pigment i'm mixing it with if you if you get what i mean but i get completely confused with this all the way through so um yeah <laughs> it, it didn't quite work out like that <laughs> so that that uh glacier blue goes lovely with the green glacier green actually it's really really nice um and i really like how i like the effect these are these are super granulating. I mean, you know, that that the clue is in the name, really. <laughs> um, if they weren't, then I'd be like, well, I would want my money back. Now, I love that as an effect. And, um, you know, it, if you do, then obviously I, I would kind of recommend getting these because they, they are granulating. I'm a little bit dubious. I need to get more sets. I think the thing is, I think they're very, very expensive for... Um, such a small set with without like a yellow in um so the two pigments have uh well one has so the glacier green has a red pigment so it's got pbr 233 and then the turquoise glacier has got uh, I, i'm assuming I, I don't know this but i'm assuming that pv stands for a uh, violet pigment violet so they're the only, but there's no yellows in here. So, um, which is probably good, <clears throat> excuse me, because you'd get a, quite a lot of muddy uh, mixes. Um, so that's kind of, probably kind of good, but it, it, in order to mix, like I preferred, I make sure I like that. I like to work with like a limited palette or as limited as I can possibly get it. Um, so I always like to make sure that I've got a red, yellow, blue for mixes but there's, there's not a yellow pigment here. So I'm assuming that's why we haven't got really, really muddy mixes. But the, yeah, they do, they do uh, mix quite, they do really mix really well. And the um, when, when these have dried, I'll show you the granulation. Um, the granulation is absolutely like beautiful on them. They, they, they do live up to their name, um, which is great because nobody wants to feel like they're being ripped off. So sorry, I got so distracted then. I was just, Wittering away to my wittering away to myself <laughs> uh, that I've I've completely forgotten to actually tell you what I'm mixing here, but I think it's quite self-explanatory. I mean, along the uh, the the pigments are on the top, and then the same order down the bottom. So, um, the my one, like I said, I really really like the glacier green, and I also really like for mixing the noir glacier. The glacier blue, I'm. I did like mixing it, and it it goes really well with the glacier brown. Um. It does seem to, uh, uh, obviously, like I would mix a, a brown, a dark brown with a blue in order to tone it down. So sorry, I just um, bringing back here, just look at showing you the the pigments here but we'll have another look in a moment once everything's dried i'll come back when it's dried and i'll should go go back into more detail so everything is dried so as you can see um interestingly on on the on the section where you drop the pigments into the clear water and see what happens i want even though the granulation is absolutely amazing and the color separation is amazing and and i can see why this would be picked for glacier set because if for rocks this would be absolutely fantastic um but sorry this this swatch 
So the colours are very concentrated on this swatch and it do, they do actually look really, really um, great and really impressive and I really, really like them. Now, the mixing, I also quite liked. Um, super interested. In fact, if you like granulation, some people really dislike it. I think a lot of floral artists don't like it, but I love it. But on this one, I wasn't that impressed, if I'm honest. Um, I wasn't that impressed. So what I'm going to do, it won't be in this video, but I'm going to do another video maybe for next week where I'll do a painting with it and then we can see that wet on wet technique and, and how they react a little bit better. But anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.